got to the um, hotel. Uh, it is actually pretty nice, not gonna lie, for a Holiday Inn. Um, uh, much better than the hotel we had at Fresno. Um, but super, super pumped for Zones. I just got the news that so many of my friends have gotten first, second, and third, and that um, both Stanford teams are first and second. And it just, oh, I'm gonna be emotional. Um, it's my last year in IA, and it just makes me really, really proud um, to see how much um, my team has grown. Um, and uh, it just, I love them so much and they deserve everything that they have accomplished. I'm really happy for them and really happy for our team. All um, emotions aside, uh, uh, right now my mom went to go get some food because I haven't had anything to eat since 8 o'clock in the morning and it is now 2.14. Um, so I'm quite hungry. Um, so at around 4.30, um, I'm gonna be going over to a different hotel to get ready with all my friends for the Zones Banquet. I will actually be doing a speech at Zones this year, which is going to be even more nerve-wracking than probably riding. <laughs> um, and I'm probably gonna get really emotional. Um, but yeah, uh, super pumped, super excited, and yeah. Not only has riding taught me how to ride or pursue this talent I have, but it has taught me about myself and about people in more ways than I could ever even imagine. In my freshman, sophomore, and a part of my junior year, I was not happy. At the beginning, it was just bullies. Then it was my parents going through a divorce and not seeing my dad or talking to him for months on end. And then it was my own friends uh, turning around and sticking a knife in my back. School wasn't a place I enjoyed anymore. My home was broken and I lost people I never even imagined losing. I lost myself in this period of my life. This fog was blocking me from becoming the woman I am today. But no matter what, no matter what life threw at me, this wonderful community and group of friends that I will have and I have collected over the course of the past five years helped me overcome that barrier inside my head. It didn't matter how bad I was feeling that day, this sport, this passion I have for horses, but most importantly, my team never failed to put a smile on my face. All of these things helped me blossom into the absolute best version of myself, and for that I am eternally grateful. Without their help or the discovery of this amazing association, I would be nowhere near the person I am today. So with my story and with my last hurrah in IA, I wish to end this speech with a little advice from yours truly. Put yourself out there. Introduce yourself. Show off in the show ring. Take risks, my friend, because at the end of the day, this is the only life you have. Ride to the best of your abilities, but do not fret over the ribbons or the judges' comments or the placing you got. Do not feel that those things define you as a rider or as a human being. Only you can do that. And lastly, get connected within your community, within this wonderful community. Because at the end of the day, this association was made to bring people together, to make friends, and to have some of the best times of your life while doing what you love most. If you went through anything like I did, or maybe not, whatever it may be, I advise you to find friends, to show sportsmanship, and to surround yourself with people who love you and who support you no matter what. Thank you. Good morning. 
it is the day of the show at Zone 10 Finals, and I am shitting my pants. I'm so nervous. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. The horses look good. Um, but we just got to the venue where it's happening. It's at Brookside Equestrian Park, and it's a really nice venue. Um, super, super cold, 48 degrees or something. I hope that I'll vlog some more. I didn't really vlog last night, but hopefully I'll vlog some more um, just to put more minutes into this video. Um, but yeah. nationals oh my god I'm so so excited um it is my third year going to nationals and I have never been more excited in my life um both Red Barn and Woodside high school teams are going so that means the whole squad is going but yeah super 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 excited nationals is from April I want to say 23rd to the 26th or something like that um, but I'm really, I can't, I, literally the only thing I can say is that I'm excited. I cannot, if I had words to express like, like 10 times excited, like, like it's like exuberated. That's not even a word. You know what? We're going to stop there because my brain is obviously fried and I cannot um, handle it anymore. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe 
if you have it already and don't forget to leave a comment down below what you guys would want to see in the near future um but yeah uh really 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 excited for nationals and could not be more proud of my team and what they have accomplished so yeah Yeah, go! Yeah. Two, three. <laughs>